Finding a pet friendly property is a huge challenge for renters and every indicator is that's only going to get worse. Unfortunately, one of the main reasons that we do see owners needing to gift in their animals to us are doing so because they are not able to, to keep hold of their pet in their accommodation. Only 7% of properties are listed as being pet friendly on Zoopla, yet at the same time our research has shown that over three quarters of people renting their home either own a pet or would like to. There's a pretty huge disconnect there and that's something we're working to help try and tackle. Due to a change in circumstances, um, I had to look for rented accommodation in London. And, you know, I was shocked at the lack of choice, um, you know, just, just because I have a pet. I just couldn't believe the stigma attached to owning dogs, and it, it really broke my heart. We have always rented privately, but the private landlord market seems to have decreased massively over the last few years. We therefore had to look at renting through an agent, but every property they had stated no pets allowed. It became apparent to us that we would need to initially ignore that rule and continue viewing until we found a property and then try to negotiate to be allowed a pet. When the landlord informed me they were selling the flat, I was just in sheer panic. It all happened at once and I thought, what's going to happen to Harper? Where am I going to stay? As I couldn't find anywhere else to um, live, I, uh, I had no choice but to rehome my beloved cats to my family members. Uh, it was heartbreaking. We are, as an organisation, continually looking after animals that we feel didn't need to be in our care. We know what a huge benefit to people having a pet animal can be. We know how much brighter it makes people's lives. Animals that have been given up by people who love them very much, but who are unable to find somewhere to live that lets them keep their pet. It can already be very difficult to find the right place to live and then to have to consider that for yourself, your family and your pet. It does end up being really difficult. We would really like to see in the future that less people are having to give up their pets because they're unable to keep them in rented accommodation when surveying a group of pet owners that only 3% of them had ever had a problem recorded to their landlord. So actually, this is perhaps a somewhat lower risk proposition for landlords than they might think it is. We've recognised that there are a number of changes we need to bring about. The first of which uh, concerns the government's model tenancy agreement. The problem is it's far too long, far too unwieldy, and so landlords aren't using it. So we would like to work with the government to make that shorter. We'd also like to see the opportunity and the availability of more pet damage insurance. It gives the landlord peace of mind and it gives the tenant recognition that actually they're covered if there is a problem. We're really keen to take as many people as possible with us on this journey. We'd encourage everybody to go onto our website at battersea.org.uk slash petfriendlyproperties to find out how they can get involved, just so people can simply say to the world, I agree with Battersea, I agree with the idea of pet friendly properties. We feel this situation is wrong, it's unnecessary, it's bad for the owner and it's bad for the animal, and so by solving it we can create happier homes for an awful lot of people and an awful lot of animals. <laughs>